Today on What Went Wrong, we fake brain pans and shit. Welcome to What Went Wrong, the show that discusses filmmaking with independent filmmakers who made all the mistakes so you don't have to. I'm Kelly Coughlin with the Bitter Filmmakers, Brett Mauser and Bradley Bates. Today we're going to talk about special effects. Brett, special effects. <laughs> we joke we joke that we don't have any, that yeah. we didn't have any, but we did. You know, there, there, there's two, now there's, there's two. There's practical and then the CGI yeah. type effects. Um, anybody making films nowadays are extremely lucky, mm -hmm. so lucky because I mean, you know, forget about when we were in high school. And, and I, um, if we'd have had what Adobe offers now, their Creative Cloud, where you can get everything, Premiere, After Effects, mm -hmm. Illustrator, all these great uh, uh, programs for fifty bucks a month, twenty yeah, bucks a month if you're a CGI student. Program too, yeah. yeah, well, that, that, that's like a plug-in for. Yeah. Uh, for the, mm -hmm. and, and and the, the video co-pilots, their element 3Ds, mm -hmm. um, all these great things for well, in 50, for 50 bucks a month. You have well, all this software. Almost all of our stuff was practical, except for maybe some green screen and garbage matting, and that was about it. Yeah, and and the green screening that we used, it would be in the, in the final cut. It was yeah. just the basic green screen that was in the final cut, uh, mm -hmm. final cut pro, and that just didn't. It was good, but decent, but it, it didn't give us the, the what we needed. Um, and the car running over the guy shot. That was just two scenes. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, there would be times, yeah, the, uh, those were some of my favorite ones. Where we'd have, for instance, it was in Sierra Rabbit, and we did it in a couple shorts recently, but somebody, the rabbit driving the truck runs over the guy. And that was... You couldn't really run over an actor. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could, but... Same thing with the, 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 the gunshots and the blood splatters and stuff like that. We... we uh, messed with that for a long time trying to figure out how to get a good good blood splatter without spending a ton of money without getting you know, we tried the avocado gun that was just a disaster we had the air pressure the, the it air. didn't work what the pressure the wasn't high gun? enough it's <laughs> basically just a tube with some avocado and blood like blood color mixed in and you okay. shoot it onto the person to make it look like <laughs> like flesh is just blown apart and it, we, because we, we, we tried that on Mario work. Angels, which, yeah. yeah. So, so I just like, <laughs> I'll just put it in my head and I'll throw it at the face. <laughs> so, and it would just look like, so here's, here's our actress and she's supposed to get shot and her face is supposed to explode. <laughs> And she's sitting there, and it looks like someone just rode by that on a bike chick. and threw a piece threw of some ground beef at her. <laughs> so she's just, she's saying, and she has some line like, Maybe it's just that you two are so alike. Uh, so, that, was, that was pretty funny. So yeah, it seems like there's just this person on a bike driving by throwing ground beef at people. <laughs> so Brett, you've learned how to brain pan people. Tell me about that. That's uh, when we had the air compressor. We had the air compressor Next. later on, and then we put the gun on it, and we... Put little plastic water bottles and cut off the bottom and fill it with like shredded up little tissues and stuff and then poured the blood in there so it looked like so when you shoot it it would just go like that and it actually looked pretty good because it looked like little flesh pieces and stuff yeah. but it was so you'd have to wait for it to to, to, to charge up, up yeah. and then it didn't always work so it wound up being some of the best ones we put it in the tube and, you know same setup but then you'd blow into the tube yeah, and it was just you blown well, into the tube. That's what we found out later. We we tried all these gadgets and the compressors and the, the little uh, the, insecti the, pump up yeah, the insecticide tubes, thing, insecticide pump up thing. And I was like, I was like, why don't we just blow in it? So I got down there with a tube, and, and it, we, it was basically just a rubber, a little clear rubber hose. We had a we had it stoppered on one end with a little hole on the side, and we put all the junk in there and kind of. Made it like that, like an old S, like an S shape on a on a sink, so it, like a trap, mm -hmm. so it would hold the blood here, so it wouldn't flow down to your mouth, and then put a little plug at the tip, so where we want it to shoot out of. And I just got down there and went, <laughs> and it, <laughs> I was like, great, this f***ing works. We spent all this money on this other stupid. <laughs> and all I had to do was just get a hose and blow through it. I'm like, all right, now that's simple stuff works sometimes. <laughs> Blood and gore aren't for everyone, but if you love it in your movies and don't have a lot of money for those great brain pans, do it practically. First position yourself behind the actor getting brain pan. 
Have him or her take a mouthful of blood. Then have the person with the gun fire it. Have the actor or actress spit out the fake blood as they kick their head back. Instant brain pan. I'm April Cook and this has been your What Went Wrong Quick Tip. So what's your favorite, practical versus CGI? Somewhere along the way we stopped doing the practical stuff and, <laughs> and we just started taking the... Well the, the CGI was so much, started getting better. It looked more real. You could actually, you could color it in such a way so it matched the scene instead of just a bright red splatter. Like, well, it looks like fake. And you could also make it directional and put it into the 3D environment to give it depth mm -hmm. away from the camera instead of just like this two-dimensional splatter. So it looked pretty cool. Brad, what do you prefer, practical or CGI? You know, doing the practical stuff that was just like stupid, I thought it was funny. Mm -hmm. I think the more retarded it looked, or I guess that's not politically correct. I am not politically correct, so sorry guys. Um, I think the worse it looked, the funnier it was for me. Mm -hmm. Like when in Zero Rabbit 3 where we had to like stab this guy's stomach and figure out how to make intestines mm -hmm. and blood and stuff. And we're looking around the house going like, what the f are we gonna do? Not again. So she had this old salad sitting there and it was all wilty. So we put blood in it, and we put some bread in it, and we were like, oh, this is great. And then we just stuck it on his stomach. Just threw it on his stomach. That's it. Yeah, it's just bloody, <laughs> bloody lettuce. And it's hilarious. I mean, because it really it's You know, and, and you know, especially, you know, it, it, blood and toilet paper. That's all you need yeah. to put anywhere, and it yeah. looks messed up. Or like when that girl was uh, from... Um, Night Watch, and I wouldn't Night Watch when it was one of the one of the other zombie movies, but basically she was sitting there with this chainsaw, just chainsawing the hell out of this zombie, <laughs> and I was with a squirt bottle going <laughs> shooting it at her face, and she's like trying to like keep acting, she's getting in her eyes, she's like oh oh, oh it burns, you know, it's like, <laughs> and I was just having a blast. Thank you for joining us tonight with the Bitter Filmmakers. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below, and as always, don't forget to subscribe. Yeah.